All right, man, back here with you on Twisted Kicks, man. That was new live War Beast, man. Yeah, cool, man. And like I said, the album will be out later this year on Housecore Records. And, um, you know, Phil's doing this right with the label. The label's treating us good, and they're talking about having some a lot of tour plans for us starting around the first of the year, possibly maybe with Devil Driver might be the first cool. tour we get to go on. So, be killer, man. And I got to thank you for, like, you know, we were just talking, dude. You you know, the reason I got back into the scene several years ago, and also you gave me my first PA last year <laughs> when we didn't have anything to practice with. And then it was very important, dude, because that let the uh, War Beast band progress and write some new songs, and now we're actually, our dreams are coming true, and we got a new album, you know, in the works. Well, you know, me and you, we seem to talk quite a bit, and... uh I don't know how we got on the subject of PAs, but I think yours was on the brink or something. No, I think we came to practice up there, and I was like, man, I didn't really want to touch your stuff, and you're like, it ain't mine. And I'm like, what? And no. then it blew up or maybe yeah. right after that. Right, and I'm like, man, I said, because for some reason I seem to own a whole bunch of equipment. I don't know why that is, but I <laughs> seem to own like five of everything, and you know, that's drum kits, bass kits, guitars kits uh guitars basses pas and all that and uh that pa that i had man i don't even remember what band i was in when i had that and i just decided right then and there i said you know what bruce really influenced my musical career back in the late 80s when i was totally into that black metal like i talked about last <laughs> week when you could go to hastings records and slayer and exodus and venom and anthrax and all that stuff was in the black metal section which right. now black metal has a whole nother term and whole nother genre of music but back then that's where you'd find rigor mortis is in the black metal section yeah it's crazy so you you know i we've talked about this endless times you guys really influenced me and changed my uh, musical career because that was just the, the direction i was headed was the he the heavier it got that's where i wanted to be you know and i don't know that it can ever get any heavier than it is right now i hope it does because then i'll just have something else to look forward to but whether it does or doesn't it's uh it's been a cool long ride and I'm very proud to uh, have given you that PA and know that it's still working and still uh, yeah, running. and using it every week, and, dude, and much respect. And I'm honored to hear that we are an influence on you. But like I said, it's about six years ago. You're the reason I came out of retirement and right. got back into the local metal scene. And here I am now, you know. Right. 